Good morning, everyone. Welcome to 2022 Incarnation Daily Devotion. I'm Pastor CJ. May God's peace be with you, and may the Word of God work in you today. October 6th, Thursday, Jeremiah chapter 29, verse 1 and verses 4 through 7. These are the words of the letter that the prophet Jeremiah sent from Jerusalem to the remaining elders among the exiles, and to the priests, the prophets, and all the people whom Nebuchadnezzar had taken into exile from Jerusalem to Babylon. Thus says the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, to all the exiles whom I have sent into exile from Jerusalem to Babylon. Build houses and live in them. Plant gardens and eat what they produce. Take wives and have sons and daughters. Take wives for your sons and give your daughters in marriage, that they may bear sons and daughters. Multiply there and do not decrease. But seek the welfare of the city where I have sent you into exile and pray to the Lord on its behalf. For in its welfare, you will find your welfare. Amen. It has been said that the only constant in the world is change. The evidence is all around us. We hardly recognize the world anymore. We feel disconnected, even exiled from what we used to be. It is tempting to spend our time bemoaning the passing of the good old days. The siren calls of those who deny reality and claim we can return to our former lives with ease are difficult to resist. All of this makes the word we get from the prophet Jeremiah even more startling. Instead of rattling his people to believe deliverance is just around the corner, Jeremiah gives some blunt news that is a version of a popular saying, it is what it is. He offers a provocative and deeply practical message. Get used to your situation. Put down roots. Enlarge your community. Invest in your new home. Pray for your captors. Make the best of the situation, knowing that God is still with you, even in this strange new land. Of course, there are situations that demand a much different response. Jeremiah is not calling for passive acceptance of injustice. He is saying that God's vision is much larger than the present circumstances. Pinning for the past is a waste of energy. Instead, we are being challenged to believe that God is with us still, and we can find faithful ways of living even in the most challenging of circumstances. We can do that because the only thing more constant than change is the promise of God. Living in a world of truth and knowing the work we have to do to get where God wants us to be is more important than always living life looking through rose-colored lenses and then being surprised when reality shows up. Being as prepared as we can be for what is to come is our challenge from God. Let's pray. Lord, help us remember that we are members of your community no matter where we are. Help us to live in ways that give others hope regardless of their circumstances. Amen. Once again, thank you for joining this morning and I hope to meet you tomorrow. God bless you. Have a wonderful day. Bye.